Hey guys, what's going on? So, had a lot of people ask me about how I do a power mod on a Marauder, especially the 25 Marauders. Uh, my 25 Marauders in pieces right now, but I will be using my 177 Marauder. Uh, what makes this different than other 177 Marauders? I've actually tuned this to shoot the 21 grain H&M pile drivers at 45 plus foot pounds. So. Um, what I have here is I have parts for the Marauder, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I guess the first thing I'll start with is on my Marauder, the first and easiest thing to do um, is right here, you have this, this um, opening right here into the valve. That's your valve adjustment screw. Your, I'm sorry, your velocity adjustment screw for the valve. And um, what I do is when they come from the factory, there is a there is a um, a pin in there that's blocking up the exhaust to the valve, so I open it up. So what I do, and here's a valve right here. This is an unmodified valve, just a standard valve. It is a can't remember now. It is a five sixty fourth hex key. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to stick your your Allen key in there. There's a grub screw in there that holds the um, valve, I'm sorry, the velocity adjustment um, pin in place. So you're going to take that out first. And be smart. Please have something to put these parts in while you're doing this so you don't lose them. I just use no pill bottle. So the grub screw's in there. Put the lid on it so I don't knock it over. So if you look inside the valve, there is a pin in there. You, you can barely see it right there. That is what um, you go in here to adjust. So you take your same 564th hex key screw, stick it in there. What I like to do is I like to turn it. I can't even see it now. I like to turn it so clockwise until it stops right there. Then what I do is I back it out goes about four to five turns so it backs it out completely and at this point it's completely backed out so that'll increase your airflow through your valve up through your transport into the breech out through the barrel and there goes the pellet again that is right here um, you'll probably have to take your Marauder out of its stock to get to this screw uh, the stocks usually block this area up, so you'll have to take it out. Uh, so after that, the next thing I'll do, once that's turned, once that um, pin's turned out, so the the, the exhaust has full um, airflow. The next easiest thing to do is to adjust your hammer spring tension with the hammer spring guide right here. So what I do, here's a here's a cap right here, end cap right here. There's the adjuster right there. So the spring goes over this. It's a one quarter inch hex screw. You put it in there. And then what I'll do is I'll back it out fully if it's not backed out all the way. And then for me, what I'll do is I'll turn it and I'll give it five turns clockwise to increase the hammer tension. Once I do that, I'm done with that. I'll leave it right there. Then what I do next, and again, the reason I'm showing you guys this too is I have to take it out of my Tarek stock to get to everything because it's blocked. So then what I'll do next, after I make that adjustment on the spring tension, I'll go in and I'll adjust the hammer stroke. Now, if you have a long enough hex, keys, um, screw, hex um, key, you can get it in there to hit the hammer right here. This is the hammer. There's the um, stroke adjustment pin right there. And inside of it, sorry the light's really bad, but inside of this is a um, is a basically the um, back end of it where you can make the adjustments. And like I said, if you have a long enough hex key, you can get in there and you can see it. Let me see if I can get a better light on this. There it is right there. So to get that adjustment, you need a one eighth hex key. So 
you're able to reach in through the back of the end cap through the stroke adjuster I mean through the spring tension and like I say if you have a long enough allen key you can reach this if you don't cock your rifle that'll pull the hammer up close right up um, close to it because it compresses the spring and you sh might be able to reach it then uh, if not then um, get a longer hex key or you have to take your end cap apart to get to this and you don't want to take your rifle apart if you don't have to everything I'm doing here you don't have to take the rifle apart you just have to take it out the stock if anything so then what you what I'll do usually from the factory they come about like this you know they're, they're extended out they get it can vary what I'll do is I'll turn it counterclockwise until I back that hammer stroke adjustment pin all the way so it's flush with the hammer this will increase your hammer stroke but I don't leave it flush I personally like to turn it three turns in clockwise like so so I have about maybe a quarter inch of play right there um, that's what I prefer but if you want to get more hammer stroke you'll turn this counterclockwise to get to it to uh, increase it and if you want to decrease hammer stroke you'll turn it clockwise and that'll decrease your hammer stroke uh, a lot of guys will do that if they're trying to um, get a, um, a lighter tune but you want to be careful because if you go too far it may um, it may actually come off which is rare I've never heard anyone doing that but it, if it does it'll fall off into your tube and then you have to take your end cap apart which is taking off the back um, screws on the um, back of the breech if you have a uh, gen 1 you have to actually take this plug off right there eh, sorry lighting's bad there's a plug right there you'll take that off and um, you'll take the whole you'll have to um, undo the hammer um, cocking lug right there then you'll pull your breech out and then you will have to st stick a, um, a, a, um, a long screwdriver in there to undo the back screw then you'll undo this screw and actually it's a hex key I don't, know, I don't remember what it is right off but and then the cap will come off and then um, actually I take it back you have to take the hammer off to, um, the, ha the breech off to get the hammer because you need to have the hammer slide back too so anyway don't overdo it so you don't have that problem but then like I said on my hammer I turn it I turn it all the way back to um, flush with the face then I turn it and that's counterclockwise so it's flush when it stops and then I turn it three turns clockwise to get it to about that much now with this particular tune um, I'm able to shoot the heavier um, um, MK2s even the Yinjins the 43 grain Yinjins and I actually set up a friend's rifle um, Marauder to shoot the engines like that and he is getting 55 plus foot pounds um, about 780 feet per second if I remember correctly um, which is perfect for him because he likes shooting the heavy stuff and if he always wants to shoot the Kings he can always put the Kings in there and even on that tune the Kings are flying at about mm, 45 yeah, maybe 50 foot pounds again um, it's been a while since I've looked at his, his um, crony numbers. But that's how I do it to get a power tune on a Marauder. Again, on my 177, I've done the same power tune just because I've, um, I, get, I, ha I have a shooting of 21 grain H&M pile drivers. I know, I do. I, you know, I got this Predator hat on, but I still shoot those because those are the heaviest 177s I can find. Um, I've shot some of Nick Nielsen's 21 grainers, and they're 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 phenomenal. They're, if you ever want to shoot some um, some really good suede slugs, call Nick Nielsen at NSA. Um, if you really want to get into getting power, then you can also look into opening up the transfer port and opening up the port on your barrel so that you can get more airflow. Um, I recommend you getting a um, better transfer port on my heavy hitting 177. I just use a quarter inch uh, ref uh, refrigerator water line of vinyl tubing. You can find it at any of the hardware stores. Uh, um, it's cheap. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's like a dollar twenty-five a foot, um, and it'll last you. You know, if you you don't even need that much. 
um, and um, I use that. And again, this Marauder is pushing out a lot of foot pounds. It's actually stretched out to 200 yards. But um, anyway, this is for a uh, couple guys who asked. Um, if you're on Facebook, go to the um, Predator Pellets um, group page. Um, be glad to have you as a member. Uh, make sure you visit the Predator um, Facebook page and give it a like and follow us. Uh, you can reach me there. Um, a lot of people know me as um, Monkey Dad 1969 on my um, my so so YouTube channel and um, on Facebook. Well, you see my face. You guys already know me. Uh, I'm Joe. Hi. So, uh, any questions? You know, ask away. Someone on Facebook and will answer it in one of my groups that I'm in. Um, if I don't get to it first, um, again, all rifles vary. So what I'm doing may not work for you. You'll have to fine tune it. Again, that's why it's called tuning your rifle. Um, but what I'm doing is it's worked well for four or five different Marauders I've done that on. Um, for 177, 22, and 25, um, it's worked great. So, um, and again, it, it is for power. Um, I will say too, on the 25 caliber rifles, I'm actually able to get a full magazine and it stays pretty consistent. Um, I've done two magazines. Um, it starts dropping, of course, but it's not that bad. But um, for a full uh, magazine of eight on a Marauder 25, the numbers are pretty consistent. So um, again, that was it. Uh, one more thing. I also have a side shot set up on mine, so I'm good to go. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. You guys take care, and uh, we'll see you later. Mm-hmm.